Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In today's video, we will dive into a topic that many organizations consider at some point. Migrating from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365. I'll guide you through the in and out of the migration process. I'll show you how to meet migration prerequisites and how to migrate mailboxes from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365. Let's assume we have few users in our organization. Those are using Google Workspace for their emails and calendars. And now this organization wants to use Microsoft 365 services. So they need to migrate their users from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365 along with their data. In this type of migration, you can migrate emails, calendars and contacts. If we talk about prerequisites, you need to meet certain prerequisites in both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 so that the data can move securely from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365. In this type of migration, the data is moved in batches. So we need to make sure the users who are migrated and the users who are not migrated yet can exchange emails. When you create a Google Workspace account, you verify a domain in Google Workspace. This domain is used to assign email addresses for the user accounts. Also, you point MX record for this domain to Google Workspace so that the users can receive emails from internet. Let's assume we have three user accounts in Google Workspace and we are migrating these three users to Office 365. And out of these three users, one user is migrated to Office 365. Now the users who are not yet migrated wants to send emails to the user that is migrated from Google to Microsoft 365. In Exchange Hybrid Deployment, we have a term that is called routing domain, which is domain.mail.onmicrosoft.com. This routing domain is used to route emails from on-premises to Microsoft 365. And to route emails from Office 365 to on-premises, external email address attribute is used. In the same way, we need a routing domain that can route the emails from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365. So the first prerequisite for Google Workspace migration is we create a subdomain in Google Workspace, but make sure you create a subdomain for the domain that is verified within Google Workspace. For example, I'm using m365concepts.com domain in Google Workspace. I need to create a subdomain for the same domain. A subdomain allows uninterrupted email communication between the users who are migrated to Microsoft 365 and the users who are not yet migrated. When you create a subdomain in Google Workspace, it adds an email address within all the user accounts with that subdomain. I'll show you this practically also and things will be more clear. The next prerequisite is we add this subdomain in Microsoft 365. And why we do this, we will discuss this in few minutes. The third prerequisite is we create one more subdomain in Google Workspace so that the users who are migrated to Microsoft 365 can send emails to the users who are not yet migrated. This subdomain will be used as external email address domain. After this, we need to create mail users in Exchange Admin Center for the user accounts that we want to migrate from Google Workspace. And we need to add the routing domain to each mail user account. This routing domain is the subdomain that we created in Google Workspace and we added in Microsoft 365 Challenge. Apart from this, in external email address attribute for these mail users, we will add Google Workspace external email address subdomain. This subdomain will be used to route emails from the migrated users to the users who are not yet migrated. If you are familiar with Exchange Hybrid Deployment, when a migrated user sends an email to on-premises user, that email is routed through external email address. External email address tells that this particular user is not part of this organization and where you have to route this particular request. In the same way, we will add the external email address to the mail user in Exchange Online so that the emails can be routed to Google Workspace. If you have few users to migrate, you can create mail users manually. And if you have large number of users, then you can use a script to import users from a CSV file. The next prerequisite is we need to assign required permissions to the admin account of Google Workspace. We will use this admin account for the migration. This account needs two permissions, project creator and create service accounts. And the last prerequisite for this migration is we will enable few APIs on Google Workspace like Gmail API, Google Calendar API, Contacts API and People API move towards our lab and let's meet all these prerequisites one by one and let's migrate mailboxes from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365. So first we will create a subdomain in Google Workspace. We will go to account. 
domains manage domains and here we will click add a domain and type the subdomain name here for example 365 mail and then you need to type the parent domain the parent domain that i'm using in google workspace is m365concepts.com this subdomain will be used to route emails from google workspace to microsoft 365 the domain that i'm using here m365concepts.com this domain is verified in google workspace and is being used for all the users and the mx record for this domain is also pointing to google workspace so that the users can receive emails from internet so type the name and then select user alias domain this will add this subdomain to all the users as a secondary email address click add domain and start verification so you can see this subdomain is added you don't have to prove ownership for this subdomain because the parent domain is already verified in google workspace now we will go to microsoft 365 admin center go to settings domains and we will add the subdomain here i have already verified the parent domain m365concepts.com in my tenant because i want to use the same domain for the users that i'm migrating from google workspace but the mx record for this domain is still pointing to google workspace so make sure you have to only verify the domain in tenant do not add mx record for now to add the subdomain you will click add domain and then you will type the subdomain that you created in google workspace and click use this domain click continue click add dns records and here i need to log into the domain provider portal click connect so this subdomain is added now depending on the domain provider these steps will differ if your domain provider is different then you might have to verify the ownership manually next we will create another subdomain in google workspace so let's go to google workspace click add a domain and let's type a name for example gws for google workspace dot m365 concepts.com this subdomain will be used for external email address that means this subdomain will be used to route emails from microsoft 365 to google workspace so again we will click user alias domain and then click add domain and start verification so this subdomain is added now the next step is we will create mail users in exchange admin center for the user accounts that we want to migrate from google workspace to exchange online or to microsoft 365 in google workspace i have these three users test one test two and test three i want to migrate these three users to this tenant to create mail users you will go to exchange admin center under recipients click contacts and click add a mail user give it a name display name external email address will be the subdomain that we created in google workspace let me show you go to account manage domains and we will use this subdomain for external email address go back to exchange admin center and type this subdomain here type alias user id under user id we will select the domain m365concepts.com if you want you can use a different domain for these accounts as well this completely depends on your business requirement give it a password and click next click create and click done same way i will create two more mail users so i have created three mail users now we need to assign secondary email address for these mail user accounts click on the account go to others under email addresses click manage email address types click add type the email address initial and under select domain select 365mail.m365concepts.com this is the subdomain that is added within this tenant click ok and click save close this same way we need to add this secondary email address for all the mail user accounts now the next step is we need to assign permissions to google workspace admin account open a new tab in browser and go to console dot cloud dot google dot com slash cloud resource manager hit enter 
and log in with the admin account that you are using in Google Workspace. Remember one thing, once you assign these permissions, you might have to wait for 24 hours for the replication. I have already assigned these permissions to the admin account, but let me show you how to add these permissions. Click create project, give it a name or you can leave it as default. Under organization, you will select your domain and leave the location as it is and click create. Once the project is created, select your domain. Under permissions, click add principle. And here you will type the admin account that you're using in Google Workspace. Under assign roles, click select a role. And here, search for project creator. Select the role. And to add another permission, you will click add another role. And search for create service accounts. Select the role and click save. I have already assigned permissions, so I'll click cancel. But let me show you the permissions. Under permissions, you can see here create service accounts is assigned to the admin account and project creator role is also assigned to the admin account. Now, the next step is we need to enable APIs. Click here, go to APIs and services, and go to library. Here we will search for Gmail API. Click Gmail API. I have already enabled this API, else you will get enable option here. Same way, we will search for people API. This is also enabled. Let's go back. Search for calendar API. This is enabled as well. And last, we will search for contacts API. And this is also enabled. And with this, we have completed all the required prerequisites and we are good to start migration process. We will go to Exchange Admin Center, Migration, and click Add Migration Batch. Give it a name, for example, Google Migration. Under Select the Mailbox Migration Path, make sure you select Migration to Exchange Online. Click Next. Under Select the Migration Type, you will select Google Workspace. Go Next. On this page, this wizard will validate if all the prerequisites are met or not. There are two ways you can validate the prerequisites, automatic or manual. If you select manual, it will ask you to complete all these checks manually. But if you have already met all the prerequisites, you can simply click start. Here you need to provide the credentials for the admin account of Google Workspace. And now this is checking all the prerequisites. It will also download one JSON file that we will use while creating the migration endpoint. So all the checks are passed. Now what you need to do, you need to copy this client ID. Click on this link. Click add new. Paste the client ID here. Go back to Exchange Admin Center and copy these scopes and paste these scopes here under all auth scopes. Click authorize. So the scopes are added. I already had added these scopes here, but just wanted to show you how to add them. Now let's go back to Exchange Admin Center. Click next. Under set a migration endpoint, select create a new migration endpoint and click next. Give it a name. For example, Google endpoint. Click next. Under email address, we will type the admin account of Google Workspace. And here we will import JSON file that was downloaded and click next. So the endpoint is created. Click next. Under add user mailboxes, we will add the mail users that we want to migrate to Exchange Online. So we will create one CSV file. The format for CSV file will be in column you will type email address and in rows you will type the user principal name of mail user and we will save this file as csv under save as type we will select csv and click save and we will import the csv file here click next 
under target delivery domain, we will type the subdomain for Microsoft 365. That is 365mail.m365concepts.com. Click next. Here it will ask you if you want to start this migration automatically or manually. Once you make the changes as per your requirement, click save. And this batch is created successfully. Click done. And here we can see this batch is running. It is currently syncing. And we can see there are three users. Click on the batch, go to view details, and here we can see these three male users. Currently, the status is validating. Now, once this migration is completed, you will go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, go to users, active users, and you will find the male users. And you need to assign a license to these users that has Exchange Online Service. And once you have migrated all the users from Google Workspace to Microsoft 365, you can point the MX record for your domain directly to Office 365 so that the users can receive emails from internet. So if you found this video helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.